Hey, this is Jason from Jason Computer Solutions. Uh, today we're going to uh, disassemble a Dell Vostro 1510. Um, I've already taken all the screws out of the bottom case and uh, taken some of the covers off already. Um, and also taken the screws out of the main portion of the LCD. Uh, what we're going to need for tools is a uh, Phillips head and a flathead uh, screwdriver. Um, if you have a multi um, uh, option screwdriver where you can do different sizes, that would probably be the best uh, option for that. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on and uh, see that it works. There we go. Power it off and let's get started. Uh, I'll plug the power for it. Uh, this one did have a uh, battery in it and I'll uh, remove the battery. Uh, first thing we want to do is uh, go around on the back side here. And if you can see, there's two little clips on each side. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take a screwdriver and just pop them in there so they pop up a little bit. Just so you can hear them click off. Um, the lid's closed, sometimes they might be a little bit of a pain to get out. So just go ahead and put the lid flat down and take your screwdriver on one side and just pop it up and make sure you pop right down. And now it'll be a little tight. You can do that to actually stick the screwdriver into the actual hinge and pop it up. That should pop them right up. And then there's your hinge cover. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and take the screws out of the keyboard. So then you can see what they're working with. Underneath the keyboard. And this keyboard has two screws, so we're going to do those two screws. I should kind of see the keyboard now. Let's go ahead and take it out. Attached by a ribbon cable, the uh, black piece was flipped up, slides right out. There's the ribbon cable. You can kind of sort of see it right there at the bottom, it just flips up and down. Uh, so next what we want to do is we're going to take out any screws that we see, uh, any um, cables, um, anything like that. Uh, it's going to be here and down the touch pad. And what we're going to do once we get all the screws out and what the ways it can work with, Four screws here. Um, don't undo the preview just yet. What we want to do before we do that, we want to take the LCD cover off. I've already just taken the cables off here. So we're going to throw these cables for the Wi Fi. That's what we do. And pull them through the motherboard. And then route them, unroute them from, from the machine itself. And then, uh, now that we have that portion done, on this left side is your graphics table. Uh, let's see if it's all here and there. And uh, we're just going to pull it up and pull it out. And that's on C. And then on this side, we have. Two screws to hold the LCD and the hinges in. We're going to do both to get those out of the way. Once you get the LCD out of the way, we're going to take the top right off. See how it stays in place. Put up the screws. 
make sure you hold the LCD to anything goes off, you can really just pop that off. And there's the LCD. And then double check, make sure there's no more screws, and there is one right there. And you missed. I'm not sure if you're going to have to change or not. Now, this little missing screws can pop right off. There is one power button cable, let's just go ahead and take it off this right there. We should just take that off at this point. So we need another piece of the bottom too. And that's right there. We need a little wooden piece of this to go down here. Alright. There's another one uh, right here. I should take it off with that. Just grab my axle. Alright. Um, sorry about that. I got there's a screw right here. Um, we can put it down for the fan. We're just going to go ahead and take off the fan itself. So, for whatever reason, they decided to put a screw that holds the fan to the touch pad. Let's just go ahead and take the fan out of while it's right here. And then we end up finding the fan. It's just the fan just held on by this little three pronged cable. Alright, so now that we got that out, it just pops right off. So, what we have attached to it is the speakers. Right here. Those things. We have the speakers up over here, and we have the uh, speaker right here. So we have this portion, and then the secondary portion over right here. So there's that. Alright, right, so here we go. We've got the uh, DVD ROM. It's one of the ones that slides in instead of uh, comes out. Um, we have the rest of the motherboard. So let's go ahead and take off the DVD ROM right here with a little slip of power cable. And that just comes right out. The ribbon cable that comes with it. Alright, and um, we also have a cable right here that goes to the multimedia boards. So pop that out. And then the motherboard just comes right out. That uh, the heat sink here, uh, processor uh, memory right here, and the top right here is your Wi Fi. <laughs> Take out this media board real quick. Just hold on by the screw. And you have your media board and that cable that we removed. It's uh, the bottom piece. Alright, 
So now the LCD. We've got the LCD here, and you can see I've already taken the screws out. Or, uh, six screws to hold it in. So all you're going to do is put your fingers under here, and pop it right off. Now. This one's actually pretty easy to do. There are a lot of things I've done, um, and it just pops right off. On here, um, you've got your LCD inverter right here, and um, you've got two screws for the hinges that hold it on. Let's take the screws for the hinges out. And you also have to screw right here to hold the inverter on and take that off the wires. And you can just go ahead and pop that out. Two cables that hold on the next side. And there's your inverter. Now, uh, now we should be able to pop it right out. Okay. Put your back face. Okay. Uh, so now, we flip it around. And we have our graphics table right here. And we just pull it up. And then this is what the tape holder is on. So you just gotta take your finger underneath it. Take off. 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 Take uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can email us uh, visit our website at jsncomputersolutions.com and uh, feel free to give us a call or uh, send us an email, any questions, uh, anything like that. Appreciate it. Thanks.